Okay, so you shot with the black magic camera and it looks uh, not good. Um, why does it look so bland, you say? Well, there's a reason. I'm going to show you how to fix it. All right, so let's go to new project. Now, I am using CS5. Uh, most of you will be using 2015, and it's basically the same program. They just move things around and uh, add a few things. Uh, but it's been the same for years. So, let's open it up. Now, you have to know what type of footage you're shooting, you shot with. And uh, it is 1080p, uh, 16 by 9, uh, 23.976. So it's going to look a little filmy because we didn't go with the 29.97, which is just like regular video, sort of what your eye sees. We're going with film. All right, let's hit OK. And then we're going to import footage, our black magic footage. We'll go to import. And this is not footage. This is, well, it's footage, but it's from uh, real estate work that I'm doing right now. And we are going to go to my school folder, which is right there, and group three. So let's bring in the last clip of Mnet's directorial debut. And here's the footage. So let's grab it and throw it in here and see what happens. Oh my God, it's so bland. It is bland. And here's the reason why. So the camera is sort of like a professional camera. And with professional cameras, they're made to shoot stuff neutral. Um, so if I'm going to shoot the next, uh, direct the next Matrix film, um, I don't want my actors to look all beautiful and whatnot. Uh, I want it to be neutral. And then I'm going to color grade it to make it look like it's green and black and, and fits into that world. Um, so it always shoots neutral. That's why it's so bland right now. Um, so let's unbland it. <laughs> All right, let's go to, uh, we're going to type fast into the search bar for the effects. And that's going to bring up our fast color corrector right down there. First though, let's bring our clip in and apply the fast, just left click and drop right on there. And we have effect controls and we are going to have some fun. First things first is let's add some saturation. So that just means color. We're going to boost the color. Let's go to saturation and boost it up. And now already it's closer to what we shot on the day. Um, so the camera, most cameras just sort of do this for you internally. It th with this camera, it thinks you know what you're doing and you want to be a professional and you want to learn how to do things properly. Um, so it gives you manual it knows you're going to do it in post, so it doesn't do it in camera. Now, another thing it doesn't do in camera is it doesn't sharpen. Every car, uh, camera sharpens stuff in camera, does it in camera sharpening. And, and uh, professionals don't want that. They want control of everything. So another thing I do is throw on a sharpen. So I'm going to type in sharpen, and guess what? Blur and sharpen is going to pop up. Oh, there it is right there, sharpen. Drop that on there. And let's boost that up. So let's have a close look here. Zoom in. So it's a, a bit soft. So let's sharpen it up. Uh, not too much sharpening. Let's go 40. There. If you sharpen it too much, it looks a little weird. But it's looking good. And let's go fit. And now it, it is sharpened. And you have control over that. So if it was looking a little weird because some cameras over sharpen so that's why uh, you do this process you have control over your footage um, we can also let's see zoom through here let us get rid of this green screen it's annoying me let's go to type in ultra now, all of these are in these, uh, you can click video effects and search through, but this is the fast way to get your effects to pop up. Um, so I'm going to grab the Ultra key, slap it on there, and it is in our effect controls right there. Yay! All right, so we now are going to grab the eyedrop tool, and we're going to pick a green. Let's go for a dark green up here. You can choose anywhere on the screen, and this is where I choose. So the black represents transparency, so uh, you can see through it. Um, so let's look at the alpha channel. This is just the end composite. Now another little trick I do 
is I go new, uh, color mat, and I will put a color mat back in there. Let's put a, a red. All right, we're gonna throw that behind. Now I'm gonna move my video up one, so there's room to put something behind it. And now we're gonna see how well it's deleting. You know, better yet, maybe a white. There we go. You can see that it's not perfect yet. So let's go to Ultra Key Breakdown uh, Map Generation. What's this setting? Let's go aggressive. Too aggressive. We lost some of his jacket there. Relaxed. Uh, let's just go default. All right. Um, let's have a look at the alpha channel. So, shadows. We want to get rid of this area here, but keep our actors white. So, we will play with the settings until we get it just right. Now, the better you light your green screen, the easier this is. Um, let's just get it close enough. It's not perfect right now. Uh, but you just play with the settings. You can play with mat cleanup. Uh, you can choke the mat, which is like cut in more. Uh, soften the mat. Ooh, that looked good. Oh, too much softening. Um, let's go zero. One softening. Um, contrast. Anyways, you guys get the point. Now when I go to composite, we see that they've sort of been deleted. The green screen anyways. Uh, leaving the actors in the white background. Uh, but let's put a different background in there. Let's import. I just got this off Google. I typed in jail cell. And we are going to now get rid of our white mat and put the jail cell in here. All right. Now it's too small. So let's click the jail cell image. Go to scale. And there, there we go. So they're in jail. Um, now, I'll show you. This is really about making your black magic footage look pretty. Uh, but as you can see, if we zoom in, I'm going to show you about green screening. Um, see how the edge there, it's like a little staircase. It's very pixely right there. It's very unnatural. So when it's moving against the picture, it's not going to look that good. So what you can do is just go into the, the softening. Um, so let's go, let's soften the edge. See that? There, we soften the edge. Now it looks more realistic. Um, and da, 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 da. All right. Let's go fit. Now, there's two ways to do this, too. You can... Um, make the actors match the image in the back. So it's sort of like dark and, and gray. Um, or you can make the jail cell sort of match them. Depends on what the director wants for that scene. I think the Mnet wants it to look sort of dark and like it's actually in a jail cell. So let's grab this and color correct a bit. So go to color correction. I'm in the wrong thing. I'm in the ultra key thing. Let's go into the fast color corrector thing. Much better. Okay, so right here is for crushing your blacks. Okay, so I am crushing the blacks of the jacket so the blacks match the background of the jail cell. And that sort of blends the actors into the background a bit. Uh, makes it uh, look like they're there, sort of. Um, but yeah, you can play around with the blacks and you can play with, around with the whites um, in, uh, in color, fast color corrector. Um, so play around with that. Uh, good luck, guys, with this stuff. I know it's uh, intimidating at first, uh, but the more uh, you listen to me blab on about it, uh, it'll soak in and you'll get better. <laughs> so uh, anyways, guys, if any any more questions, uh, please comment on the video or email me, and uh, I will talk to you guys soon. Cheers, guys. Bye.